uh, it's, it's late in my life, we can't change that. So we do the best we can do. Dad, I want to spend time with you. Um, I'm crying, sorry. <laughs> So now I'm gonna try some other venison sausage. My grandfather did kill this deer, but he did not personally make this. Someone else made it, so it's a little different recipe. It's still excellent, but it's not quite as spicy as my grandfather's recipe. I like my grandpa's recipe better, but this is still really good. I'll, I'll never complain anytime I'm eating venison sausage like this. So now I'm so excited because Dad is going to take me around with his motorcycle. There was a lady lived in my This breeze when you have wet skin is really cool. Gotta decide to run or hide, and if so, where will I do the hide? And dreams of escape, hope versus fate, and a grudge match to the bits around. Now, see that house over there? That's Custer's house. That's where General Custer lived when he was out here. And he went out to the Little Bighorn and got outsmarted by Sitting Bull. And uh, we call it a massacre, but the Indians outsmarted him. This United States military post was established as Fort McKean, June 14, 1872. Come on up here. This is the guard house. You know, because you had Indians out here and they didn't like us coming out here basically stealing their land. Soldiers can shoot them. The board is attacked. And the rifles weren't like the ones you got. They were those breech loaders. They weren't like the rifles we have today. But see how far you can see from up here. Fine. Can you imagine living out here in the winter time especially? Oh man, they had a rough life up there. because they had campfires, so we got a hole in the roof here to, for the smoke to get out. Yes. You're as good looking as when you were in fourth grade. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you very much. God, you don't age. She's actually, she was a radio host in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. well, good for you. This Thank is you. like her second week in the United States. English is very good. Thank you. Pretty Wonder. good, considering she's only been in this country for a couple of weeks. <laughs> she's a fast learner. Thank you. Well, you've been gone for quite a while. I left the United States in 2012. Yeah. And this is my first time back in the U.S., so I'm very happy to be back. Well, Everybody. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've driven my Trans Am. I love this car. I've had this for quite a few years, but my parents keep it for me. And this is a 1986 Trans Am, a really great year. Love this body style, really unique. It's a shame that they don't make these cars anymore because they don't even make Pontiacs at all. There was a guy that just went by me in a truck. He looked over at me, gave me a smile and a nod, so I guess he likes the car. This is a beautiful car though. It still drives really, really nice. I haven't driven it in years, but it's like being with an old friend again. Whoever designed these really did a great job of giving it a beautiful look. My dad was a self-educated man. 
he's educated very intelligent man and uh, he learned the English language of course and he learned to read the English and so on and so forth in fact when we were home when we kids we had to speak English at home because if dad caught us talking German we'd liable to get slapped behind the ears he said we're Americans now English is our language we speak English and uh, of course uh, my mother had to learn English too, but she was born in this country. So a dad could already speak two languages. He spoke German and he spoke Russian. And now he had to learn the third one, English. He learned English and he'd read and read and read and read. He self-educated himself. Oh, man. That's another picture frame. Three generations of the crafts. <laughs> There could be one more if you guys yes. had a kid. By God's grace, and that's us. Oh, that looks nice. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys could come. I will probably never see you again. I'm too old, I can't last too much longer. <laughs> I, my letter I got from, from the, the doctor this morning, and this is the first time he ever did this, on the bottom he wrote, excellent, Alex. You know, excellent. Hey, that's all he wrote on the bottom. Well, that's good enough for me. I could throw that in the wastebasket <laughs> and feel good about it. <laughs> so, my health, I guess, is still pretty good. But I know I've gone down quite a bit the last year, especially when it comes to my walking ability. Mm -hmm. I can tell my back hurts worse quicker now than it used to. Uh, it's a little more difficult walking this year as it was last year. And that's old age kicking in. I don't know how I'm going to be around. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys may never remember. I might be dead. I don't expect you guys to come to my funeral from all the way over there. Don't feel bad about it if I kick the bucket that you're not coming to the <laughs> funeral. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, to make that kind of a trip. It's expensive enough when people have to come from five, six hundred miles away. You know, but uh, so. Don't feel bad about that, because that's, that's too much to expect. And I do not expect it. But remember that we love you, Grandpa. Well, it w I'm so glad you could come too, otherwise we wouldn't have got to know you. You're welcome to the family. And uh, so I'm glad you guys could get to come and we could spend some time with you. You can never spend too much time with family. You just can't, it's not in the cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, glad I had this opportunity to meet you and get to know you some. I'm glad you like shooting the 22. Yes. Now you can go home and brag you hit that <laughs> little size. The size of a penny, be sure you stress that, at 25 yards. That's pretty darn hard for an expert to do. Wow. <laughs> and you did Thank it with you. your first shot on there. So Thank you. That, that was like you were an expert. Because <laughs> you, were, you were my teacher. Well, uh, I've done my share of it. I'm still usually the best shot out there when we're hunting with the shotgun or with the rifle, mm -hmm. but I'm not near as good as I used to be because their old age kicked in too. My reactions aren't as quick, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be, and that makes a big difference. Well, maybe next time I could use your, your rifle to shoot when I come back, by God's grace. <laughs> maybe next time we give you the shotgun, yeah. <laughs> Can I say a prayer with you before we go? Oh, no, certainly. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this priceless blessing for me and Travis to be able to spend time with Grandpa and for me to meet Grandpa in person and to spend time with him. Well, like I say, I'm glad you came so that we could spend some time together and get to know you. Uh, it's, it's late in my life. We can't change that. So we do the best we can do. Thank you for blessing yeah. Grandpa with, with good health, even though he's already 92 years old. And Lord, if it is your will for Grandpa to, to, to spend more time with us and, <laughs> and with our future son or daughter, we'll be thankful for that, Lord. But now I'm just so happy that we're able to spend time with you. Um, I'm crying, sorry. <laughs> um, I, uh, 
would like to have you people keep me posted of what happens in your lives when something, you know, important happens. I yeah. would like to know about it and so on. We always do. We wish you well. I'll be praying for you guys every day, yeah. which I do anyhow. Yeah, God has a very special reason why you're still here. And one of those, one of his, part of his yeah, special I, reason is for us to spend time with you. I, and if, if it's God's um, will, You'll still be able to meet your great grandchild from us, then that will be great. <laughs> I was uh, thinking that God made a mistake. He was supposed to take me before Adeline went. <laughs> a woman is much more capable of living by herself than a man is, you know, and most of the time the men die first anyhow. They're usually a few years older than their wives and so on. And uh, I didn't figure I would live longer than Adeline did, but like I said before, it's a miracle that she lived as long as she did with her medical history. Right. It's nothing short of a miracle, but right. absolutely in my mind, I'm convinced mm -hmm. of that too, and she was too. Right. Her saint Jude that she always prayed to always came through for her. They always came through for her. Yeah. So now she is in her everlasting home. <laughs> and maybe she can help me get there. She just left us ahead. We're all going home. Well, you have to die in order to live forever. Yes. God love bless you, you guys. with long, healthy, godly life. Have a good trip back. We love you, guys. Oh, God bless. We'll see okay, you. Okay, guys. Okay.